Would you like to improve your flexibility in a nice gentle way using mindful movements? In this class, we add in some gentle standing yoga postures. We weave them in seamlessly with our Tai Chi flow. So find a place where you can do some mindful movement. All right, so we'll begin with the feet together or as close as you can. Hands come to the lower abdomen. Just taking a few deep breaths in and out. As you breathe in, the belly expands. As you breathe out, the belly returns towards the spine. Breathing in and breathing out. Just letting go of all the worries from the day, coming into the here and now. And then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top just for a moment and let it out with a big sigh. Just letting out tension and stress. The hands float down by the sides. As you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as if you're gathering in energy. Bring it into the heart. Send it down towards the earth, sinking the chi. Breathing in, breathing out. This time the arms float all the way up and over. The hands come together, prayer position. The hands float down to the heart, and then floating back up, the arms float all the way out and down. Nice and easy, nice and slow. One more time, we call this Anjali Mudra as the hands come into prayer position. Floating back up, drifting out and down. And then step one foot out to the side, either foot. The arms float up in front. So we open the door. The arms float down, softening. Breathing in, rising up. Breathing out, letting go. Opening the door, the start of the journey. One more time, breathing in. Ah, breathing out. This time the arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings. The arms float down, palms face up. They float up the midline, pressing up overhead, and then floating out and down, holding up the sky. It's a great way to open the shoulders, opening the chest, lengthening the spine, maybe even getting a little taller. <laughs> One more time, holding up the sky. This time, reverse direction with the arms. Circle in front, hug the tree. And then from here, the arms open up wide. This hand here scoops under, the other one on top as you embrace the moon. And then switch sides, spinning the moon. All right, this time the top hand comes down to push the hip. The other hand reaches up to the sky, pressing the hip out to the side, coming into your half moon. And then other side, top hand floats down Coming to the hip, the other hand reaches up, pressing the hip out to the side, nice and easy. One more time on each side, the half moon, the Ardha Chandrasana. And if you want, you can let your bottom arm float up, reaching up to the sky as well, or you can always keep it down at the hip. Either way is fine by me. From here, the top hand floats down, bottom hand comes up the half moon. I'm just feeling into the posture for a breath or two. Once again, you can always reach the other arm up. And then whenever you're ready, both arms float all the way up and over. The hands float down, palms face down towards the earth. The hands brush out to the corner. They circle around, coming back in towards the hip, and then brush out to the other corner as we polish the table. Circling around. Nice gentle rotation. You can even lean into it if you want. All right, one more time. Drift across. This time the hands float down. They drift up to shoulder height. And then other side floating up to shoulder height. This time the palms face away. They drift right across the horizon. And then back down. Drifting up. Floating across, painting on the canvas. All right, one more time. Breathing in, breathing out. All right, this time the hands float all the way up and over like a big wave. Coming back down. Once again, opening the shoulders and chest. We call this the Chen Circles. One more time.
and then reverse direction. The hands float up to shoulder height, the palms face away, and drift across the horizon, making nice, gentle brush strokes. Floating up, drift across. All right, one more time. Breathing in, breathing out. All right, this time the arms float all the way up and over, circling up, and then coming back down. But once again, taking your time, really going for the ride. One more time, the chin circles. This time, circle in front, hug the tree, and then soften. And then from here, the arms open up wide, and the hands float down, the backs of the hands face each other, they float right up the midline, and then drift out to the sides, the fountain. Breathing in as you rise up, breathing out, letting go. Connecting with the water element, feeling soft but powerful. One more time, the fountain. All right, now this time the hands float up in front and they float back down, the palms press behind. This time as the arms float up in front, you can sit back into your chair, softening the hips and knees, coming back up. One more time, this time if you want, you can hold for a few breaths, the chair pose, reaching out in front or you can always come to prayer position. Another option is to reach up to the sky, anywhere in between. Breathing, rooting down, and then when you're ready, the hands float down as you rise up, circle in front, hug the tree, and then from here, the hands drawn towards the heart, push out to the side. The hands draw back in towards the heart, and then push out to the other side. The dragon stretches its tail. This time, as you push out to the side, tap the toe out to the opposite direction. Step back in, other side, tap the toes. Right out to the side. One more time on each side, the dragon stretches its tail. Breathing in, breathing out. This time the hands come back towards the center, hug the tree, draw them in towards the heart, step out to the corner as you push them out. Breathing in. <sighs> Breathing out, taking as many breaths as you need. All right, this time as you push out, the back foot steps back. The arms float up like a big wave, front knee is bent, rooting down, warrior one. Then the hands begin to float down, the front leg straightens, keeping the spine nice and long, hinge from the hips, let the hands float up behind the pyramid. Coming back up, the front knee bends, arms rise up, and then floating back down to the pyramid pose, taking your time, feeling the sensations, going back up to warrior one. Just letting go of striving, coming into the here and now. We'll hold here for a breath or two, rooting down through the feet, tall through the spine, shoulders soft, fingertips reaching up. And then when you're ready, the hands float down to shoulder height, step the back foot up, the hands draw in, Push out to the corner. And then from here, the hands draw back in towards the heart, step the foot in, shift the weight, step to the other corner, and push. Breathing in. Ah, breathing out. Really feeling the sensations. How mindful can you be? All right, this time as you push out, the back foot steps back. The arms float up, front knee is, stays bent, arms reaching up to the sky, warrior one. And then the hands float down, the front knee straightens, or you can keep a slight bend, hinging from the hip, spine is long, hands float up behind. Then coming back up, the front knee bends, warrior one, the Virabhadrasana. And then coming back in and out one more time, our warrior one pyramid flow. Coming back up. This time, if you want, you can hold for a few breaths. Hold the position, not your breath. <laughs> Continue to breathe. 
as we sustain the position. And then the hands float down to shoulder height, step the back foot up, the hands draw in, push out once more. And then from here, step in, hug the tree, rounding out, and then soften. From here, the arms open up wide, the hands float down, the fingertips point up, they float up the midline, and then the hands spiral out and away from each other. We call this one silk reeling. Opening the shoulders, spiraling the energy, increasing our blood flow as well. Rising up. Ah, floating down. One more time, silk reeling. And then reverse direction with the arms, circle in front, hugging the tree, breathing in the arms open, breathing out, fingertips drift towards each other, the hands float down. Then gently drifting over to one side and over to the other. Like tall grass in the breeze. Nice gentle sway. And then come over to one side, tap the heel in front. Bring it back in. Other side, shift the weight, tap the heel. This time tap the heel, the hand comes over the foot. Other side, tap the heel, hand over the foot. This time, hand over the foot, other hand in front of the heart, playing the pipa, Chinese guitar. Other side, hand over the foot, other one right in front, right in front of the heart. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, play the pipa. And then step in and hug the tree. Step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, the arms open up wide. The hands float down, the wrists cross down low. The arms rise up overhead. And then the arms open, circling out and down. It's like we're gathering energy from the earth, giving it back to the sky above. Harmonizing yin and yang. All right, one more time. Now this time, stay with me here. As the arms come down, the palms face away as you bend the elbows, then soften the hips and knees. And then rising up, spiraling the arms up to the sky, coming back down, palms face away. I like to come in and out a few times. It's what we call the cactus arms. All right, one more time, breathing in. Ah, breathing out, and we can hold here for a breath or two. Just feeling the sensations, noticing whatever arises, and can you be with it? And if you can't, that's okay too. <laughs> but if you can, then just noticing, without adding on to the story. And then when you're ready, rising up, hug the tree. Ah, soften. You can step the foot in a little bit closer. And then from here, the arms float all the way up and overhead, and they drift right in front of the body. And then scooping down low, gathering in the energy, letting it wash through the body, giving us healing and vitality. We call this the bathing breath. We're bathing in energy, this healing light. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, the bathing breath. The arms float out to the sides. The arms float down, palms face up, one hand on top of the other. This hand here floats up and over. Coming right down the center line of the body. Other side, breathe in as the hand floats up. Breathing out, centering. Calming the heart, calming the mind. One more time, centering. This time, both arms float all the way up and over. The hands float down to the waist as you soften down. And then circle the arms in front, gathering in the energy. So we can transform it right into, right at the heart, to loving kindness. One more time, open the heart. The arms rise up. Hands float down. This time, make a diamond shape with the hands in front of the heart. and Send out your loving kindness to the world. 
May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. Then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. And then the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. Step your feet together or as close as you can. You can close your eyes or keep a soft gaze. Let your body rock and sway ever so gently, like bamboo in the wind. Just feeling the gentle rocking motion and any sensations that arise. Just feeling the body, feeling the breath. And then bringing your attention into your heart, creating an inner smile, expressing gratitude to yourself for being here today. And if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them. The hands can come together in front of the heart. And we can finish with a bow. Thank you all so much for joining me for this Tai Chi and yoga flow. So I hope you enjoyed today's session. So make sure to click on one of these videos down here. I picked them out just for you so that you can experience even more Tai Chi and yoga flow.